Good. Okay, so here's the lobby. So right when you walk in through the front doors, you will enter straight into the lobby. Um, you can check out or check in with anybody at the front desk if you have any questions or if you're registering to be a new member mm -hmm. uh, or if you just want to know more about the machines. Then we'll walk, we'll walk this way first. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead, Kendall? You know this place front and back. Master, the Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder. And you can get on the ellipticals. Um, you can also get on the um, cool little bikes that don't go anywhere. Um, and then we have some bikes with fans. So like as you're pedaling, it'll cool you up. Um, we have this thing. It is for lifting weights. We have this thing, it is also for lifting weights. And why would for a squat as well. Why would people want to lift weights? Um to get their muscles stronger. Good. And over and then all the rest of this stuff is also to lift weights. Um and then we also have a water power club. So now these exercises and then we're going to move into our smallest exercise room. Um, you can just hang out here. Um, you can get these big balls out. Um, there, are these, there are these stretch thingies over here and these roller thingies and also more lifting weights. Do we want to show them how you can use a medicine ball? Sure. Let's go with the one more. Four pounds. Yeah. Oh man, she's going for the 10 pounder. She's not messing around. <laughs> you can use a medicine ball by starting it at your chest, squatting down. You can press straight up with it, or you can just keep it right at your chest right here. Or you can find a partner squat and toss. We do a lot of those in classes. Yeah. Can you think of anything else, Kendall? No. No. And here is our spinning room. Oh, over there. Okay, so a teacher would be up here. You can take a spinning class. And your teacher would be up here pedaling and then it's, that would tell you what to do on the floor. So your teacher may tell you to stand up and pedal. They'll tell you certain positions that you can hold on to the bike on. You can sit, increase your intent or increase the resistance so it's harder to spin. While listening to the awesome instructor on the stage. <laughs> Very nice. You don't have to worry about weather. You don't yeah. have to worry about and you, the this, hills of Perry County. We are going to come into the studio. A lot of people do classes in here, like yoga classes and fitness classes and all kinds of stuff like that. Virtual classes with Laura, right? Yeah. 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 Right now you can find all the classes, not all of them, but a big portion of them on virtually. And then once the gym opens back up, there'll be some classes that are offered inside the gym again. Um, so this is where we hold all of our classes. There's hit classes. Uh, Tabata is held over across the street. Uh, yoga, like Kendall said. Bar. What am I missing? A lot. Uh, high fitness. A lot of other classes that I'm missing. Yeah. Could, could you guys show us a little one-minute sample of some fitness classes sure. here? Sure. How would you use, you pick um, a tool to use and I'll pick a tool to use. Okay. And then maybe the kids can do this while they're watching their field trip at home.
plates as long, or a towel as long as you're on a slicker surface. Wherever you want. Okay, you show me some yoga. I'm not very good at yoga. Can you show me a yoga move? That's fine. The downward dog, right? Yes. Oh, that looks like a good stretch. And then you can sit like this and do the button. It's very important to stretch before and after a workout. So before, you want to be able to get your vessels nice and warmed up. And then after, you want to be able to move the... You want to lengthen them out. Lengthen them out, yes. Okay. Now, another thing that you can do so is sit on your knees and go up, over, 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 forward, backward. Good. Let's let Laura show us some exercises with that dish. Now. Okay. Lots of different things that you can do with the disc. I'll show you two or three moves. You can put it underneath one foot, do in and out, either going slow or picking up the pace. Make sure with that leg that you're leaning in on, you want to check that knee, make sure it's behind those toes because whenever you start leaning in forward through those toes, it's going to put a lot of strain on your knees and you do not want to do that. You can be here, you can take it back, whatever you like. You can go both, in and out, front and back. If you have two discs or two paper plates, you can come down into a squat right here, or you can slow it down, in, in, out, out. Lots of different things you can do. Right, Kendall? Yep. Good. Well, let's take a quick break and then we'll show them downstairs. Okay. Sound good? We are um, on round two. This is downstairs. Here we go. First, for, we would first we would show you court one, but it's under construction. So now we're going to show you court two. <laughs>
guys. Thank you so, mo so much. If you want information, you can jump on or ask mom and dad to jump on the Everybody's Facebook page or on their website.